my AC is out in my house, my apartment. So that's not good at all. And my face is really white, so as you can tell, my bronzer is like quite the contrast. I guess maybe, it might just be the lighting. I don't know, I feel like she needs to be blended. I just don't even know how to blend it. Anyways, welcome to today's vlog. I got my first PR package and it's a whole ass suitcase. Like a legit brand, level eight, sent this to me absolutely for free. Right now I have 200 followers on TikTok, so if you guys aren't following me, go follow me there. My arm is so tired. We're gonna have a chat. So yeah, anyways, the suitcase company, like it's a whole ass suitcase I got for free. I thought for sure they were gonna scam me, but this, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how like hard work really does pay off. If you guys check my YouTube, I have been posting YouTube videos for four years off and on. And only this year have I posted consistently almost every single weekend. Literally like 20 weekends in a row. And I am just so beyond grateful for the lessons that I have learned through YouTube. The communities that I have built. The girls that I have chatted with. Even my own friends in real life have like proven that they're like supportive because I know a lot of people think it's cringy to post on the internet and honestly it's not but it is. I don't judge people but I like also understand why you would think that that's like kind of cringy especially because also in the past I used to post a little bit cringier like I was trying to grow and like follow trends but now I'm just myself motherfucker and I got a free suitcase out of it so y'all check out Lovely. You can use my code if you want to if you don't that's cool. Just wanted to give them a shout out since they gave me something for free. This is your sign to do whatever makes you happy. I have been doing this while also full-time working and it's just my side hobby and I love it. And I honestly like posting on YouTube more than any other job I've ever had besides maybe being a barista because I like making my little lattes. But it's just like the fact that I have a hobby that could potentially one day make me money or get me free things or help a community. And I do it every week almost like a job and I'm not getting paid in dollar. This is the first tangible item I have ever received besides a pack of protein powder. I've made like $25 on my LTK and it's all the things that my mom probably got for me. It's just really cool that I feel like this is the beginning of something. So if you guys are watching, please like and subscribe and support your girl. I would be so grateful. And I really just wanna provide and like show the world that I have authentic value that I wanna give and, and I'm not just trying to chase trends. And yeah, life is short. Do what you want and let's start living, guys. Because you can get a free suitcase. <laughs> Boop. Also, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Can you even see it? I don't think you can really see it. This is her. I was I've been trying to like experiment with different types of pieces. So we have like a cute lace you would think it's dress up, right? And then we're throwing on some boxer shorts to dress it down, some jewelry. I'm really trying to like experiment with like true real outfits, not just like a brown workout set, you know? I'm just, that's not always the vibe. Like we want to have some personality and mix things up and like use some feminine, use some masculine and mix her. To show you guys some of the things I bought for Europe. This is the beginning of the journey. I have not gone in-person shopping in so long because your girl is woke as fuck. Yeah. Trying to travel the world and then moving and then all the other things, it's it's quite difficult and then you also have loans as mentioned. So basically this was a struggle. I have saved my money to be able to go shopping when Europe comes. So this seems big, but really I haven't bought anything besides Sheen in like since Christmas probably. Like seriously, like the summer, the only new clothes that I have in the summer are all from Shein, which was like a total, maybe like 300 bucks like total. I feel like that's not that much for most girls out there. Like all my girlfriends will spend like $200 for one piece or two pieces. And I'm like, I wish. I literally spent more money in high school than I do now. So if any of you guys want to sponsor me, I would love that because you girls balling on a budget and I still show up and I still look cute. And I live in Texas with the Texas heat and you can't really wear much. So I'm also gonna film some TikToks and I need to go quick because I'm sweating my ass off. It's 80 degrees where I'm standing right now. I cannot. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go do that. It's Caitlin Stevens. Period. Go do it. Support your girl. And yeah, also I have an LTK. The moment we all have been waiting for. What am I bringing for my 14 day vacation in Europe? Okay, first things first is Nordstrom. I got this cute little lace to go under things. The little lace skirt, it's actually from Nasty Gal. It was on sale for $32. And yes, she's see-through, so we'll need something underneath. Paired with this 
beauty queen of a sweater. Look at how beautiful. Who am I? I don't know. Basically a Pinterest board, Delaney Child too. And she's so soft. She's from Topshop, size small. I never do small, but I figured I should get something fitted for Europe. This one was $31 from Nordstrom. And whoever, not be calculating how much I spent. Last thing from Nordstrom, day one, is this beautiful silk skirt. It was in the sales section and they tricked me. Bougie bitch, just me. And it like has a little slit also. Look at that slit. The fact that I'm holding it upside down is crazy. If this isn't screaming, cutie little fall, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Plus, look at this together. Like it's kind of like quirky and different. That's what I want to go for. I'm tired of being a basic bitch. Then I popped into Airy and American Eagle, which is crazy because I was like, no way are they gonna have cute things. I went to the outlets and guys, when I tell you, look at these pants. These are the summer pant and they're pink. They're not blue, they're pink. This would look cute with the shirt that I'm wearing. I can also wear them to work. They're like a thicker denim, so they're high, more higher quality than like brandy, but they're not like expensive. I like these, if you, told me these were like heavy manners or like some expensive bougie brands. The thickness, I would definitely believe you. Guys, this one's even cuter. I love the little tie right here, but it's like still really loose so you don't feel fat. So you're like cutie, a little bit loose, but still snatched and you don't feel like a little fatty. That's my thing is remembering that clothes are meant to fit you. You are not meant to fit certain clothes, but you also still wanna be like motivated to go to the gym, et cetera. So there's like a healthy balance in between that. So for anyone struggling, definitely put systems in place to maintain your health, your health, not just looks, and then buy clothes that fit your body through those phases of life. If your clothes don't fit and all you're doing is eating donuts and drinking wine, that's a little bit of a different situation. But if you're putting in all those systems and it's a healthy balance, then it's okay if your clothes aren't the same ones you bought in the eighth grade. That's what I've learned. Just buy the cute clothes, get a size medium instead of a small, get a large instead of a medium, whatever you need to do. This shirt right here is a large and these pants are a medium. And we're over only wearing smalls because your girl has grown up. Your girl is not gonna always be a size four from Lululemon. Now we're a size six and it's okay. And maybe even an eight. Kind of shook about that. Those were $35 at the outlet. Okay, let me throw in something for the boys. We got this for Jesse, my boyfriend. Look at this cutie little shirt. She was more expensive though, but American Eagle does have good stuff. And then guys, we have all seen these cutie little sweaters on Pinterest. I know you have, I know you've seen this. This is like the perfect fall transition sweater. Look, you can, can you tell? And this was originally 44 and I ended up selling for 15. I was like, how, is this she? Like, I was confused. This is why sometimes you do just have to go shopping in public and then you control how much you spend. A lot more reasonable. This is also Jessie's cutie little shirt. I was like blue and stripes, no way. Also look at how stretchy and boingy. It's like a really nice soft towel. Kind of like a, more like a blanket, I guess, like a summery blanket. Yes, honey, I found some denim. And look at the back. Also, for those of you who have weird body types like me, do not force yourself to fit in things because I almost got a denim thing because I just couldn't find anything cute denim and it did not look how flattering this looks. And I almost forced myself literally the store before to get one and then I found this one and it fit a big ass rib cage, it fit my body and it's flattering. Clothes are meant to fit you, you're not meant to fit clothes. <laughs> these heels are. Did y'all see how cute the product glasses were? 
precious. And then we got some more things over here. This is the behind the scenes. What else did I get? I don't even remember. Oh, it's like Christmas with all the things that I picked out. Okay, I got this also on sale. I was shopping only sales. I didn't pay full price for one item but that skirt earlier. Linen, yes, I feel like for Europe you need a linen. You already know it would match those pink pants. So cutie. And I could throw it in with really anything. This was size large from brand Vero Moda. It's a sustainable brand. I got it for $18 and Jesse had a Nordstrom note so I stole it and it was only $8. Okay, last but not least is H&M. Oh my God, I'm sweating. This is like unique. I haven't really seen one like this that fits women that isn't like a nasty old men's shirt. Okay, and I thought sh this one was unique. Okay, so it's like that blue vibe that everybody has, but do you see the silk undertone to it? I said, oh, that's a little bit more on the unique side. So you could wear it like a cute little like, mm, mm, loose, or you can wear it kind of like a dip. So I can wear this to work. Europa. Okay, I really wanted a big old pop of red. I might regret this because it's not really my style, but I feel like in order to be cutesy cool, sometimes you just gotta go out there. Like you're replicating a Pinterest board, not your past self, right? But I am a little bit worried it's gonna be a little bit too hot for this. Sorry guys, I had to multitask. I know that wasn't the best quality, but you know, it is what it is. This is the aftermath of it. Isn't that funny? Also, don't come stalk me. Pew, pew. This is the setup of it all. Behind the scenes of content creation, guys. It's honestly such a struggle. I don't know how people do it. Also, if you guys aren't watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, it's so entertaining. What are you doing? Also, don't forget to watch your couch cushions, especially if you have a big old lab like Mr. Haro over there. Guys, look at how cute my little outfit is. I love like a nice, cute, loose pant. I've never really had pink pants, like a nice little pink, not too girly, kind of chill. And I paired it with these little baby kitten thong heels. I actually got them from Old Navy last summer and I just haven't worn them that much. I paired it with the shirt I was wearing earlier. I kind of want to try it with the linen. Let me put a change, y'all. So hopefully you can see my shoes. Don't mind my dogs. This lighting isn't the best. I'm cleaning everything, but I thought it was pretty cute. It's loose, as you can see, but little shorties and I can't afford a tailor right now. So this is what you can get. Salted caramel, so let's do a taste test. He's gonna like it. Mine, I don't really like using sugar. I like the natural essence of coffee. Also, I wanted to show you guys my pants. Also, how are you doing? If you are having a bad day, buy yourself a little treat. Romanticize your life. Take a bath. Walk outside. Call a friend. Call your mom. Call your dad. Are these pants so cute? I am obsessed. And I really want to do like every other girl. The Matilda Jerv like blowout. The only problem is that I have no idea how to do that. And my hair so long that it wouldn't even really work in the rollers. So I just pulled up to the domain. If you live in Austin, you know the domain's pretty cool. And I just finished editing my video at Civil Goat. And I just finished editing my video at my favorite coffee shop. Now I'm sitting in a parking lot. I'm about to go shopping for Europe. I'm prepping for Europe. I've been playing around with the glazed 
with the road glazed milk shit and my skin is looking so good like the glowy parts but i am getting like breakouts and i don't know if it's from my makeup i don't know if it's because of my hormones and i don't know if it's because the glazed milk because this isn't irregular necessarily but i don't know if it's helping either so we'll see but i'm gonna go shopping i made a list of things that i need i thought this would be interesting for you but i have like my european fashion list and i'm trying to be strategic because mama does not have a big budget unfortunately that's what happens when you get a master's degree and make base salary linen pants a tube top black belt with silver adidas shoes already got a long fancy dress a backless black shirt i thought would be really cute i need one of those workout dresses and i need like a workout set that's what i'm gonna get at aritzia and i'm gonna try to find linen pants at brandy melville boxer shorts i might be able to find that like cheaper somewhere any type of mini shorts i think are really cute and then i also need to find like a crossbody purse i don't know if that's gonna be here aritzia is mainly for like the comfy kind of like athleisure and brandy melville is gonna be a little bit more like the lace white chill flowy pant vibe and yeah hi guys look at my cute little cozy outfit i put this on my tiktok but i got it from american eagle these pants are brandy melville like don't sleep on this it is so cute and comfy also peep real housewives of orange county in the back it's the best real housewives i think real housewives of atlanta is also good peep her hi guys i am back home from work it's actually 4 30. i'm gonna go for a walk for the dogs it's so hot in texas it's literally 105 degrees right now you probably hear the dogs freaking out while he's trying to this toy and my freaking doctor i went to the doctor yesterday for those of you who don't know i have pcos so ridiculous so hard to lose weight with it oh it's such a process I looked on my online portal and the doctor literally said lose weight, exercise 30 minutes, five to seven times a day. But in person, she never said anything about losing weight. So I'm just like, okay, were you just saying lose weight because you didn't like the number on the scale and it was like an automatic thing? Or is this like a PCOS related thing? Because a lot of people... Noise. So a lot of people say like for PCOS you have to maintain a certain amount of weight in order to like have kids and stuff And it also just makes symptoms worse. So I'm three pounds under what like I go, don't want to go over personally And then seven pounds over probably like the more ideal weight. I'm not actually overweight or anything At least not in my opinion, but I'm also short, but I'm also pretty strong Like the only like super extra fat that I have really is in my stomach, but even then we love our bodies, we support it. I'm just like annoyed why she didn't say anything. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go for a fucking walk. Because I'm not gonna not eat. <laughs> That's for damn sure. I can eat healthier and stuff, but ugh. If any of you guys have experienced this, let me know. Not fun. Also, look at how long my hair is. And I've also been liking my body a little bit more. The past week, I've been like, ooh, I feel a little bit bloated. I had a few little donuts. A little bit of alcohol. She also was like, you need to quit drinking immediately. And I don't know if that's just because she's a doctor or if that's also for like the PCOS and the IBS, blah, 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 blah. I know doctors tell everyone like you're an alcoholic, you're obese, like literally if you're not perfect. I also don't even eat like that much carbs. I do drink alcohol, so that's like adding calories for sure. It's just so funny. Like I don't, if I have to hurt myself and skip meals to be skinny, then I don't want to be skinny. Like I'll be, I'll, I'll look fine looking like this. I just don't want to physically like harm myself or anything. So it's annoying. Also look how flushed I am. Guys, this is because like, it's literally almost impossible to live in Texas in this weather. Like it's a hundred degrees outside, concrete everywhere. Like, oh, also my AC is broken. It's 85 degrees in here. Anyways, I'm putting, I put my workout outfit back on. Look, like guys. My body is fine. I'm like, why is she such a turd? Like, damn. In a perfect world, I could lose maybe five pounds. You know, she jiggles a bit. But like, it's literally fine. It's literally fine. Sorry, I don't look like what I looked like when I was a freshman in college. Anyways, I'm gonna go walk. Mm -hmm. 